Good afternoon. Welcome back to the channel. This video is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Do your own research, make your own decisions. All right, guys, welcome back. This is just going to be a brief update. This is kind of about ICP, but it's really the concept applies to the crypto space in general. All right. And I want to talk about the signal and the noise. Now, I've heard people refer to this regularly over the last couple of years, but I never looked up to see what it exactly what it was they were saying even though it kind of made sense to me just looking at the context. So I, I looked it up earlier and it says, what is the signal and what is the noise? The signal is the meaningful information that you're actually trying to detect. The noise is the random unwanted variation or fluctuation that interferes with the signal. Now, in my personal opinion, the signal is and always will be, and for this space, what the institutions are doing. Are they continuing to adopt the technology? Is the is the broader adoption trend continuing all around the world. The noise is what all the content creators are saying, all of their opinions, all of their narratives. Now, there is no greater example of the noise than what content creators or people in retail are saying, especially if they are omitting what the institutions are doing. There is no greater, I mean, if, if you could put this in a dictionary for, for crypto specifically, the signal is what the institutions are doing. The noise is everything these retail idiots are saying, especially, especially if they're omitting ad adoption. And there are so many people covering crypto that have omitted the large majority of adoption that has happened, guys. And, you know, I'm just, I'm being consistent on this. I've been warning about this for a very long time. And, you know, I, I would have thought that when I said this back in 2021, that, you know, it would have kind of st stuck with a lot of people, but I don't think that it has because there's so many people. It's the norm in the space for the most part. It's the norm in the content creator space to ignore what's happening with adoption or to undersell it and to get right back to talking about Gary Gensler, whatever they're talking about. But, but the signal is, and always has been, and always will be, what the institutions are doing. Is adoption continuing or is it not? And everything else is noise. And that includes for me, okay? My opinions are irrelevant. What I'm trying to do is I've tried to highlight the best that I can what's going on with these institutions. And I've always said from the beginning of the channel, that as long as the institutions are moving the technology forward, then I continue on with my thesis and my big picture plan. Because that gives me the best indicator. It's not perfect. There's no such thing as a sure thing. This is not financial advice, but it's the best indicator you could possibly get. It's the best signal for what's gonna for what everything's gonna look like in six months, in 12 months, in five years. All right. What content creators and what people in retail are saying is, is one of the most irrelevant things because my opinion is irrelevant in general, but my opinion is especially irrelevant if it does not align with what the institutions are doing because everybody's got an opinion, all right? And in a general sense, they're all worthless, but the ones that are especially worthless are the ones that have no alignment with what the institutions themselves are doing, okay? Now, with ICP, we've seen a lot of very positive developments over the last just two months. We've seen a lot of positive developments this year in general. And there's more than the ones that I listed off here, right? Logano adopting CKBTC, Definity joining the uh, Carnegie Mellon uh, WebAssembly Research Center with Siemens, a large global tech company. They're also a part of the World Wide Web Consortium, the entity that started WebAssembly. Origin and Metalore partnering together, and they already have a solution for tokenized gold. Taurus adding support for ICP due to, due to high institutional demand, and that's per them. And they work with larger financial institutions. And, and that's on top of Definity and ICP, what they've been doing with Signum and um, Post Finance. Origin, pending some announcement in the future, is working with one of the largest diamond grading companies, and per them, six or seven others are involved. And then Definity partnering with Roland Berger, large global consulting firm. They are working with a wor working on a tokenized carbon credit, recycling credit solution, and they're going to be presenting it at the United Nations Climate Conference in early December. Guys, that is the signal. 
okay? That including everything else. And, and the same concept applies to the broader crypto space as a whole. What the institutions are doing, the continued advancement and adoption of the technology, that is the primary thing that's going to give you the best idea of what's coming in the future. What retail's opinion is, it doesn't fucking matter what, what, what anybody's opinion in retail is, and that's including my own. We're never going to be given 100% of the information. So what I try to do to the best of my ability is report on the factual information that is happening from the institutions that they're openly acknowledging and relaying that information to you the best that I can. And where there are gaps, trying to fill in gaps the best that I can while stating this is my opinion, this is speculation, this is why I think this, here's the factual information that leads me to this conclusion, however I could be wrong. But there are tons of people in the space that do not acknowledge any of this fucking adoption, but just were, but just have shouting their opinions, just projecting all day, every day. And I'll say something that, that I really think that you should consider. There is a very big difference, night and day difference, between being in a quote-unquote echo chamber and just deciding to ignore people who aren't covering the signal, who aren't covering the most important things happening, especially when they're largely positive, while they simultaneously push negative sentiment on a regular basis. It's up to you who you decide to surround yourself with and who you decide to follow. Again, I wish that so many of you would create content yourself. Oh, and there was one of you who reached out to me about that as it relates to ICP. And if you're watching this video, I did reply to that comment. I just haven't heard back from you. So just let me know. Go back to that comment where you originally um, reached out to me. Uh, it just took me a couple of days. If you don't comment within like the first 24 hours of me putting the video up, 24, 48 hours, chances are I might not get back to it because I don't check notifications. All right. So, but I wish a lot of you would cover the space or cover ICP. Because if you don't, what's going to happen it, it is all of these, these people who really have no business being on here covering the space. Um, because for whatever reason, they're not willing to tell the truth about the adoption that's happening, or they just don't know what they're looking at. Um, those are the people that are going to dominate the public conversation. And that's how we end up in a place to where 99% of people in crypto think ICP is a scam because of the atrocious job that these content creators have done. All right. So there's additional examples outside of the ones that I'm listing. New partnerships with gaming companies, right? I forgot the name. What was it? Mate Invoice? Invoice Mate? Um, and we're seeing companies migrate to ICP. So all of these things are great things. And on top of that, Dominic, it, it seems like Dominic's in a different country on a weekly basis, speaking at a different Web3 conference. And either Dominic or somebody from Definity has been speaking at one of these big Web3 conferences for the better part of this year. All great things. Some things to remember. With the market right now, I would still be prepared for a liquidation event to the downside. You know how I mentioned, if you see the market pop up, not have a huge move, but just have like a 15, 20% pop or something in that ballpark. And then all of a sudden sentiment shifts and then we pause and then sentiment shifts and everybody starts to become very bullish again. More times than not, what happens is a lot of people rush in with highly leveraged long positions after the move. And then we have some type of a pullback liquidation event to the downside. But I don't really care, and it doesn't matter to me what happens. I would just assume the price go back down. Doesn't matter to me at all. The market will move whenever the market, whenever the people who control this market decide that the market is going to move. Uh, I'm just going to continue business as usual until that happens. So remember, like guys, the EU just announced, had that announcement about the digital euro and that they're moving forward, I guess, with whatever it is they plan on doing with a digital euro in the future. Guys, the, the, the trend of adoption, in my opinion, and this is opinion, is likely not going to stop. It's probably only just going to continue, and it may even accelerate. And keep in mind, and, and to piggyback on something that I used to say a lot, where I still kind of say a lot, when we hear an announcement about some corporation using one of these technologies, more times than not, that's been in the works for 6, 12, 18 months. And 
to back up what I'm saying, if you remember the video I did like just a few days ago about origin, what were they saying? They said something like 16 or 18 months of um, conversations they were having with one of these diamond grading companies and they still haven't announced it. So th there is, there's a lag from the time those conversations start to the time they're announced. So there's probably tons of things that are being worked on in the background that just haven't been announced. And there's probably tons of things that are already ready to go that just haven't been announced. So I would anticipate seeing this adoption trend continue. And in my opinion, this is probably just going to be the new system in four years or so from right now. Uh, when I say that, I don't mean that everything will be fully implemented and everything will be on chain. I, I just think that in four years from right now, we're not going to be having the same conversations that we're having today. And this tech is going to, at that point, kind of be a part of daily life. Because I think that in four years from now, we'll probably have moved over to digital currencies on the blockchain for the better part of the developed world. And at that point, people are going to understand that blockchain technology is an integral part of day-to-day -day life. So just keep that in mind when all these people are selling you on this idea that we're just going to have a quick run-up and then it's going to crash right back down to where it is right now. And then we're going to be in a long bear market and in a depression and blah, 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 blah. Pay attention. This signal. See, that, that those are opinions. That's noise. All right. The signal is what the institutions are doing. And for two and a half to three years, what they have been doing is implementing this technology all over the world. Guys, the people that are ignoring adoption, but also telling you how you should feel about crypto and giving their opinions on a regular basis, it's fucking worthless. There is nothing more worthless than, than that, than their opinions. I mean, you know, I just can't over reiterate the, the caution you should have when you're listening to people who have not even remotely covered the large majority of adoption that's happened in the last two and a half years, especially if they're pushing negative sentiment. Any given content creator slash retail person's opinion is the most irrelevant thing in the world. Watch what the institutions are doing. There will be people downplaying ICP, okay? whether they're doing it intentionally or whether they're just, that's just the way that they see this whole situation. But there will be a lot of people downplaying ICP. That's why, that's why I really stressed you have to have your own thesis here. You have to have your own conviction and you have to have your own big picture outlook for how you see this playing out. And another thing too, uh, I'm old enough to remember just like a few months ago where there was a lot of scary things being said about Gary Gensler and the SEC as it relates to ICP, right? Did the SEC change their position on ICP? Did they give ICP regulatory clarity? I don't remember that happening. So nothing should be different now, even though I don't hear that a whole lot anymore. But people that told you ICP was too risky, they didn't go anywhere themselves, right? The very people that told you that this was super risky now that Gary Gensler and the SEC, and they're going to crack down and drop the hammer. Blah, blah, blah. They didn't go anywhere themselves. How about that? How about that? And you wonder what they also haven't done? They also haven't covered almost any of these examples. I just think that's interesting, right? You can come to your own conclusions on what that means. But I just think that's very interesting. Now, I will say that I'm not positive that we've seen the end of the SEC scares with crypto in general. Hopefully we have, but I would just be prepared and, until it, and I said this a while back, but it will become self-evident when all of that is over. But they're going to keep that alive as long as they can, because the narrative is very important. The government hates crypto narrative is very important. I did a video about this on my backup channel if you want to scroll down because um, I'm going to put this video on my backup channel too. So just be prepared for another SEC scare that happens. But I just think it's interesting that a lot of people that were pushing the Gary Gensler worshipers, they didn't go anywhere themselves. They told you how risky it was, how risky ICP was. Keep in mind at the very same time that ICP was a part of numerous other assets that were being called securities at that very moment, in the same like week or two, 
Dominic and Jan were both speaking at the Point Zero Forum to like a thousand central bankers, right? And then this is what happened in the months after that. So it doesn't look like all of these institutions care too much about what Gary Gensler was saying or doing, right? But there's a number of different people that, you know, wanted to over reiterate to you just how risky this was and and how, you know, the, the worst case scenario could happen at any moment in time and, and so on and so forth. But yet they didn't go anywhere themselves. I just think that's interesting. Again, pay attention to the signal. Ignore the noise. That's all I have for this video. This was not financial advice. Do your own research. I'm not a financial advisor. Take care. Have a good day. I'll see you in the next video.